anything else here if we look at uh, how can producers adjust to maximize or protect profitability your animation you know hedging um the formulation that you just mentioned dave anything else that comes to mind at all i might just throw in one of the comments you had um earlier marcel was or um to maybe discuss was you know lessons learned from the past and and although i said the force majeure was a bad thing i wholeheartedly say the packing industry truly did not want to enact that part of the agreement but a lesson learned was those producers who market to just one packer has been brought up that, you know, maybe I shouldn't have all my eggs in one basket because those who had supply that was being marketed to um, multiple, at least two different uh, business arrangements with their packer groups, um, you know, fared well, especially if you were in a region or geography that got hit a lot worse than others. And so I think when you, you look at your business plan, you move forward and say, I understand the logistics part of here's where my pigs are and I'm close to XYZ Packer. I get that. But if it's 40 miles further and you can send him a load or two a week and your, your favored Packer gets the bulk of the rest, might not be a bad business decision overall. Right. And sometimes uh, a business with one customer can be tricky. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good. Anything there, Dave, to add as you look at uh, 2020 lessons learned? I think uh, not being proactive. Uh, one of, uh, you know, we still continue to hear people on a week to week basis that uh, ask if it's time to do something. And I, I think being proactive and, and working with your teams, whether it be on the risk side or whether it be on the nutrition side, continue to be uh, proactive and, and turning over every rock that you possibly can uh, in your business to understand just where you can make those little adjustments. It's a lot of little adjustments uh, and, and just continue to uh, be, be uh, proactive. 